What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another destiny 2 video and today I bring you a full solid solo run of getting all five chests and doing the oracles by yourself in the heroic version of the whisper uh, mission on IO now I've seen many many people still a little confused about this some of the guys I've seen out there are utterly pathetic cutting out a lot of the puzzle a lot of the jumping and so forth that's why here today i'm going to go from start to end every chest every oracle correct order and so forth now if you are on this stage you obviously you have to do the standard version get the black spindle or the whisper of the worm to unlock the heroic version that's where you need to be at the start of this video that's where we are right now we are going into the heroic version getting the blighted essence for your catalyst on your black spindle and that's what we that's where we're at now so basically let's get into it okay so obviously you want to load into the heroic version of the whisper mission and simply take this little shortcut right i mean like we ain't even in there there ain't a rush right now to be honest i mean you don't have to do the shortcuts if you don't want to i mean you have to do you can't use the second shortcut anyway and i'll explain when we get there because the chest is at the end of the jumping puzzle so yeah and you'll you'll see this video it is cut here and there because i am absolutely utterly useless at jumping i really am yeah, like you've never you've probably never seen nobody as bad as me at jumping i'm telling you I i'm just so so bad so the first chest is located right around here so as you can see there's a little gap in the wall uh, right there and that's where you have to jump to simple as that people simple as that people and you do need to collect all chests as well and there will be a sixth chest that spawns after you complete the oracles which will give you the schematic for the exotic ship which we don't know what looks like yet, but I cannot wait to see that. I really can't. Now, all this part of the actual the mission, I'm fine with. I mean, I've done it so many times. I'm fine with doing this. It's the part where you have to jump along the walls, you know, in that big old room with the little grass ledges you have to jump up on. They are... For me, it's, it's so, 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 so much of a pain in the ass. Now, what I would recommend you guys using is obviously two scout rifles. I mean... If you're a hunter, Stomp EEs, uh, yeah, Stomp EE5s are perfect for this because obviously all the jumping involved. And the, the actual, well, since the, the, the buff of these things, they're unbelievable. I mean, they seriously are unbelievable. One of my favorite new, well, my favorite exotics in the game now. But yeah, Stomp EE5s go a long way on a hunter. So yep, just walk along this ledge, obviously be careful because these things will push you out to your death. And if you've done this on somebody else's host, so if you've played with your friend and he's a host, you've probably seen that. So it's like, it's weird, it's like glitchy. On your screen, it'll look like they're walking through these blocks, but they actually ain't. You're trying to follow them and you'll fall off. I've done it so many times, it's hilarious. It's like, I don't know, it's like a time delay. They're seeing something different from you. I don't know what it is, it's weird, but yeah. Just stick with what you see on your screen. If they're walking through it, don't bother trying it. Just wait for it to move and then obviously walk past. So then here, you just want to jump straight across. Be careful under this, obviously ducking, just looking right and just holding left and walking, you know. Simple as that. Well, looking left, sorry, holding left and walking. This thing can be a little bit confusing as well. Well, not confusing, sorry, a little bit of a pain in the ass. What you want to do here is you don't want to jump at the very top. You want to use your momentum about two thirds up. You want to use the momentum of this thing, like a slingshot, and then jump because you'll jump at the top and you'll hit the little platform that sticks out the wall and it'll knock you down. But you probably know this anyway. Obviously, you've done the normal version. Yeah, this is the heroic version. I don't know why I'm even explaining this like it's just doing it for the first time, but yeah. I mean, as well, for the people that are watching who haven't done this yet, this you can just, just run straight through. Quite easy. Nothing nothing difficult there. Here, what I do is I try and aim for that actual the burst, see that white burst. I actually try and aim for that because if you land on it while it's already white, it doesn't shoot you off. It's only if you stand there while it fires, you get slung off. So yeah. And the snipers here are a pain as well. The snipers here are a pain. There's so many times I'm at the last part of the jump, they've shot me and it's hit me off course and I've just gone flying. <laughs> annoying, annoying. Right, I'll just quickly jump, 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 woo! I couldn't imagine doing this on a warlock. I mean, I, I'm no good at jump. See that there, almost hit me off then. Ridiculous. I mean, I'm, I'm okay at jumping on a hunter. Sometimes things can a little bit, get a little bit annoying, but yeah. But on a wall I can tighten, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> what you want to do here is because there's a knight that spawns right there. Um, you want to like try and lead. Well, you obviously, you want to go across here, make him spawn. You'll see him in flash up now. Turn back on yourself because he will just pummel you with flames and burn you alive. So, you just want to walk back a bit until you get to a point where he won't actually shoot you. 
here um, you can use I'd probably go with the Polaris Landscape say or any any solar scout rifle would be perfect here I didn't have a solar one at that time I just forgot to equip it but it doesn't really matter I mean I'll do quick cut the video though and you'll see I do have a Polaris Lance on at the end of the video but yeah I think I'm getting to fall off here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he falls off and takes my legendary and rare handguns with him. Pretty sure he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay, so you got rid of him. And now we're going for the second chest. And it's basically along the wall at the back end. You go down. You can see a slight ramp there in the distance. You want to go down that. Down that, people. So let's follow the path all the way down. And you will come to um, a chest. Now I play on a like a 4K HDR TV, so blacks on my screen are proper blacks. So when it's real dark, I can't see nothing. I mean, like I'm running into walls, and I'm thinking I'm going in the right direction, and I just can't tell. It's ridiculous. Um, so what you want to do is run back up the ramp, and you want to jump into the teleporter above. Well, I say teleport, it looks like a teleporter, but it's just just like a little like a tube before down. So you just want to jump up on here, jump up on here, and then. Jump down there. Now you want to be careful here because this, this fall has killed me for some reason. It, it almost killed me there, but it's killed me before. Here, the third chest is located in this little crack in the wall here on your left. So just follow this through. You know, jump across here and slide under there, and it's here on your left. Next is body of vexes. This is this this whole thing that was fascinating to me. I mean. All this is hiding the IO. I mean, I don't know how long it's been here. It's just, it's, ama it's amazing. Now, what you want to do here is you need to get up to basically to the top of that little ledge there. So what you got to do is um, start here. You can see, and then you just want to jump onto these grass ledges. Now, these are, <laughs> I mean, these are a nightmare for me. These are they're an absolute nightmare. I mean, I think the, I, this is two videos put together in, as you can see now, I've got my Polaris Lance on because the first time I did this, I mean, not the f very first time I did it, I was fine with it. Oh, but when it comes to actually doing it and trying to record live, don't have any of it. I just keep failing miserably. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I snipped the video off there as well because I fell off. What you do is if you do fall off here yeah, and you don't die, so like if you fall from a great height and you don't, like if you don't die somehow, kill yourself. So jump down further, there's another, like a little, hole in the floor down there you can jump down there's a lot of higher uh, I think they're like taking enemies down there whatever if you die if you die you'll actually spawn back up on a ledge that you almost fell off and died so yeah so if you kill yourself you will spawn back up on one of these ledges saves you going from the start again I mean you won't be on the exact platform you fell off but you'll be near to it so yeah much better that way I and mean, I'm on a roll here see this is this is me on a roll this is I'm um, it's like my 20th attempt, and I'm not joking. I think it was my second attempt. The first one I just took so long, I ended up just going back to orbit and doing it all again. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's up there, right there. Like I said, I couldn't imagine doing this on a, a Warlock. I can understand because their jumps are a little bit more controllable. But Titans, you hit one ledge, you're bouncing away. <laughs> you're bouncing off. I get so frustrated on a Titan on the other wood. So yeah, you want to jump down onto this little le le platform here. Yeah, it's a little grass. Thing it duck and you'll see the chest is right here. Chest is right here, and you just want to follow this hole in the floor, go all the way down. And we'll be close now to the fifth chest. So we've got through this hole here. And you can see instead of dropping down there, you want to jump across right there. See that little edge? With a little light in it, that's where you want to go. And then you want to jump across right down there, you can see. This is that platform right there. Jump across. Very, very simple. I mean, even the newbies and noobs at jumping puzzles like me can do that. It's so simple. But like I said, the Stump EE5s on the Hunter, they work absolute wonders, people. They really do. I just want to follow this, well, follow these ledges. Be careful on this one because you can over jump it like I almost do, like that. <laughs> And then what you want to do is you just want to jump across to where this teleporter is, which actually doesn't teleport you anywhere, but there's definitely something else about this because there's just definitely something else about it. Definitely is. I'm going to do a separate video on that. Now you want to jump across to this platform right here, and you'll get the fifth and final chest. And there we go. Now I do believe you get, I think it's 12% on the black spinner catalyst from these chests. 
if you then complete the boss again you get some more i'm not certain about that so this is the chest right here now you want to go back you want to go back to that little platform but it's pretty hard to do it from this angle so uh, I, I might as well mention it as well while i'm here there's a little where you can jump up these walls here which is to be honest it's a pain you know you bounce off it so many times it's just easier here in my opinion killing yourself so like i do i ended up just killing myself because it would annoy me and if you kill yourself right here you'll actually spawn on that platform you really want to be on because it's just simpler to jump across to where you need to shoot the yokels as you can see right here so once you've collected all in five chests the yokels all of the yokels will spawn i do believe you don't collect them all not all of them will spawn so you'll see now that the yokels spawn and there's seven of them in total and there's actually three uh, sequences you need to do and well they obviously do all these flashing things like if you play the world class we know all these things they, they kind of chime where they're actually going to be um, but there's seven of them in total obviously from one to seven left to right and there's three sequences uh, the first sequence is one three five which you'll see me do i'll put these on screen by the way the second sequence is four six seven three one and the third sequence is seven three one six four two five and now you might as well get your bet i mean if you fail it you can just do it again and again until you got it i mean you got until the time limit runs out to actually get this done so just get your bearings of where these actually are i did it for about a minute just to be certain and there we go first sequence we've got one right there then we've got three right there and then we have five right there and this is why i say use two scouts because you can switch back and forth i mean you've got time to reload if your scout rifle doesn't take half an hour to reload uh, but yeah I just that's why I said use two scouts just in case you uh, think you're going to run out of time just quickly switch and then you are done and the second sequence is about to start it does that charming thing again don't worry about that there we go it started so the first one is four as you can see four then six then seven then three And then one. There we go. And there we go. And now we do the charming thing again, and the third sequence will start. Now this is the longest one, obviously, but it's uh, seven three one six four two five. But like as you can see, they're on screen now. So here we go. Let me just reload that. Cha chang chang. And there we go. All seven. So there. Start with number seven. Then we go to Ferry, right there. Then one. Then six. As you can see, I almost shot the wrong one there. <laughs> I did my use my aim button to switch that. Then four after six. So there's four. Then two. And there we have five people. And it really is as simple as that. I she had time to reload there as well, which is great. But there we go. And now if you've done that, the chest will spawn right in front of you. There we go. Now they, they do still go carry on. Now I don't know whether or not there's an Easter egg here for the vault glass like teleport, which looked to be behind you. I don't know anything more about it. I mean, there hasn't been that much of research gone into it. But yeah, but for doing that, you will get the um, enigmatic blueprint, which is obviously for a ship. And there we go. Complete the whisper with the following weekly modifiers to build the ship. Arc Singe, Solar Singe and Void Singe. And there we go, people. So yeah, there we go. And that's basically it, people. It is as simple as that. That is how you solo get all five chests and do the oracles by yourself really easy really simple guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it helped you out uh thanks as always for stopping by if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one